we're not considering the widest range of options. So uh, I, I would support the general uh, the sentiment here, but I feel here that it's premature at this time to uh, to go forward with this until we discuss some other options. So if we could uh, do that. And if there's no other support for this, I would withdraw my second for uh, unless there are other supervisors who concur with uh, that sentiment. Okay, well, um, a comment from the chair. Um, this year we're actually leaving the teeter revenues in the teeter payment. So it's an actual increase in that, and then we're adding 200000 from the general fund. So we're actually increasing the payment over last year, and to me, um, that's as down to the dime as we can get an increase in paying down teeter. It, it does, not, um, does not increase the payment on the interest dramatically, does not increase any at all payment on the principal, but it's keeping a status quo, and, and I really think um, that's as good as we can try and achieve this year. So um, it's an actual increase, maybe not as much as it could be, maybe not as much as we want it to be, but I think uh, it's as good as we're going to get this year um, unless we're willing to make those hard and fast decisions that I mentioned earlier, and that would impact people's lives that are employed by the county. So, Supervisor Smith, comment? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wonder, did you do the math on the, on the scenario that you just reported in on paying it at $200,000 a year? Let's just say if we did what we're doing this year, which, yes, it is a step forward from, from historical patterns in terms of how we deal with that fund, but if you do the math very quickly in terms mm -hmm. of paying 200000 I think you come up with what I just came up with is it takes 60 years to repay it. So, I mean, to me, that is not adequate. I mean, I think we need to step up and do some very difficult work here. And I think delaying it another year isn't in anyone's interest. Because I'm calculating at that rate, if that's all we can find, and next year it may be, we're maybe more hard-pressed to find even 200000 I just I just don't think it cuts it. Okay. So receive supervisor pensions. Well, on this teeter issue, the, the whole issue is here is <clears throat> the interest rate that we're being charged and how that amortization works. I think there's a lot of money, you know, as I stated several times here an hour or so ago, there's a big difference in paying six percent or ten or eleven percent. And that's if we've been if we were only paying five or six percent for the last thirteen, fourteen years, the teeter debt would be a whole lot less than than, than what it looks like we're paying now. And, and we've given direction to come up with that and, and come up with a plan. So I don't see there's any sense in hashing that issue over. You know, and, and as far as the rest of my motion, there's a lot of issues, a lot of things we can argue over the solid waste money putting that in. But it's a proposal that's workable. You know, if you want to start and going back and say, well, we're going to do furloughs and layoffs, we can do that. But keep in mind, we have cut, what, 57 positions in this last year. That's considerable. In the last 10 years, we've cut 17 positions from our road department. 17 positions. That's like three road yards we don't have staffed anymore. So we've made considerable thousand series salaries and benefits concessions. You know, we're the one that made the three-year contract of 3.5% three salary increases. You know, we done that, and nobody done it to us. We done that, and, and I stand behind that. And uh, maybe there are further department cuts. I'm looking forward to the proposal on the privatization of solid waste, but, but that's not something we have here on the table to deal with today. My motion deals with a balanced budget today, and sure, we have the teeter issue and that debt and what we're going to get charged interest. That's something that's out there, but we're going to deal with that. Uh, this, this, it gives, the motion gives a balanced budget today, and that doesn't mean that we, get, we have to start working immediately on next year's problem because I, you know, the budget problems we have in this budget is just a portion of what they're going to be next year. You can guarantee that. If that's a guaranteed. Our sales tax revenues are down. Our timber yield tax revenues are down. Our uh, assessed valuation probably, depending on the audit, and we have a lot of unassessed valuation out there that might help it up, but it's still trending down. So you can guarantee 
you know, we're probably going to be talking about next year at this time a five to ten million dollar budget gap we're going to have to deal with. And certainly, if things don't change, we're going to be talking about positions and and furloughs, or maybe a two week mandatory time off. Maybe I've thought about the best time to do it probably be between Christmas and New Year's. If it's just that we just shut down county government for that ten days, which I think is a likely proposal that would probably work because most people don't they're not building houses and getting building permits and doing that time that would be something I would look at seriously is basically looking say between the holidays between Christmas and New Year's just virtually shutting down government for that period of time that would be a considerable savings but we don't have to do that this year we got a motion on the floor that balances the budget and lets us get on and we can all start working toward that I appreciate the comments from all of my colleagues about how we have to start looking at the little things and the ability to start looking at government in a different way. Because if we're going to look at this budget process like a headache that, oh, we have a bad budget year now, but we'll go to sleep in the morning, it'll be better. It ain't going to happen. It's not there. The indicators are going to get worse. So, but I think we have some bright spots, as our CEO brought up a little earlier, some real bright spots. But my motion gives us a balanced budget. It's workable.